36. What is the ionization constant at 25 degrees Celsius for the weak acid, CH3 to NH2 plus, the conjugate acid of the weak base, CH3 to NH, and then they give us a KB for that, which is 5.9 times 10 to the negative fourth. Okie dokie. So we're looking for the ionization constant. Any ionization constant is capital K, all right? So in this case, they gave us an ionization constant, capital K, for a base, that's why there's a B there. But in this case, we want to find the ionization constant for the acid. So A for acid. We're looking for, maybe I'll just highlight that. So say here's the acid, that's why it's A. So we're trying to solve for the Ka. Now the only thing that they gave us was a Kb, right? Kb equals 5.9 times 10 to the negative fourth. So I say to myself, okay, I have a Kb value. I'm looking for a Ka. Is there anything that I can do or any formulas that pop into my head that can relate Kb to Ka? And there is. The formula is this one. Kw equals Ka times Kb. But the thing here is that if you want to use this formula, the Ka and the Kb value have to be conjugates of each other. You cannot be throwing in, you know, random different compounds to solve for Ka's and Kb's. The compounds that you're trying to solve for have to be conjugates. So they have to differ by just one hydrogen. So here are the two compounds in question. The beginning is all the same, CH32, CH32. But now the acid has two hydrogens at the end, right, NH2, and the base has just one hydrogen. So it's all the same except for one hydrogen. And that's why we can use this formula. They told us that the Kb was 5.9 times 10 to the negative fourth. We're solving for the Ka, but now the thing is, well, they didn't tell me a Kw value, right? Well, K stands for ionization constant. W stands for water. Now, these are constant values, but it depends on the temperature. There's only one Kw value that you probably have to memorize, and that's the one at room temp. So anytime that they say 25 degrees Celsius, Kw is always 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th. So we just got to memorize that. Probably your teacher or professor won't uh, give that number to you. But maybe they're nice. Who knows? So anyway, if I just want to, <laughs> anyway, if I just want to rearrange this, you could, you could plug in these numbers and solve for X, but I'm going to just try to rearrange it, right? If I'm trying to solve for Ka right off the bat, all I would do is I would take my Kw value and divide by KB. It just makes it easier for me to do the work here. But if you want to just use that formula and, you know, plug it in, go right ahead. So let's see, KA equals something over something. KW was 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14th, and the KB is 5.9 times 10 to the negative fourth. So here we go. Ka equals, drum roll please, two sig figs, but nobody cares. <laughs> One times 10 to the negative 14 divided by 5.9 times 10 to the fourth, 10 to the negative fourth. And I get 1.7 times 10 to the negative 11th. No units for Ka or any K value for that matter. They're just constant values, kind of like quantity values, and you're done. So that's it. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. I really hope we're giving you great educational content, and I hope to see you in future lessons. Okay, have a great day. Bye-bye.